Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Thank you for joining us for this midweek devotion at St. Luke Lutheran Church. Our hymn leader is Deaconess Carol, and I am Pastor Bert Thompson. We have some good news. We're planning to reopen the church for services on May 31st, May 31st at 9 a.m. And in a few days, we plan to have more information about that on our website. So please check our website in a few days. And remember, tomorrow is Ascension Day. We will have a service for Ascension Day again at 10 a.m. Tomorrow at 10, Ascension Day. Now, our closing hymn is 466, Christ Has Arisen, 466. God placed his name upon you in the waters of your baptism. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our devotional reading this morning is from Luke, the 12th chapter. And he said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat, nor about your body, what you will put on. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens, they neither sow nor reap, they have neither storehouse nor barn, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? If then you are not able to do as small a thing as that, why are you anxious about the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass, which is alive in the field today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? And do not seek what you are to eat and what you are to drink, nor be worried. For all the nations of the world seek after these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. Instead, seek his kingdom, and these things will be added to you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give to the needy. Provide yourselves with money bags that do not grow old, with a treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where no thief approaches and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So far our text. This short sermon of Jesus is a journey a journey from earth to heaven, a journey from worry to confidence, a journey from uncertainty to absolute certainty. Jesus starts with worldly things, the things we can see, the things right in front of us, the things that will pass away, the things we are so worried about losing or not getting enough of. Jesus then points us away from worry about these things, which we will leave behind, and he points us to the things we will never leave behind. The things we will never leave behind are Christ himself and the heavenly home he has prepared for each of us. If our heavenly Father takes care of the birds and the flowers, he will certainly give us what is necessary, both here and for the world to come. As proof of his love for us, our Heavenly Father gives us his greatest treasure, his only Son. Christ is our heavenly treasure. Christ leads us where our heart is, to the heavenly things, the things that will never pass away. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, it is so easy to worry and fret about our life. We had so many plans. We had so many hopes. Now nothing is working out the way we planned. Give us hope and trust 
that your, your Son, our Good Shepherd, will lead us safely through the changes and the chances of this life to that perfect world which he has opened for us by his sacrifice for our sins on the cross. As we diligently do the work you have set before us here on earth, keep our hearts trusting you and our eyes focused on Christ and the world to come, the heavenly world you have prepared for all who love you. We pray this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our closing hymn 466, Christ Has Arisen.
Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia.